What's up you guys, Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another review. And today we are going to be finally getting around to the review of the Shin Godzilla Blu-ray release. <clears throat> Late to the party on this one, but just to add a little bit more to this review so it's not so short, I will also be giving my two cents on the Godzilla anime that was released on Netflix because I've seen that a couple times now. <clears throat> but to get started off, let's talk about the Blu-ray release of Shin Godzilla. Now, uh, my opinions on Shin Godzilla remain the same. I love the movie. Uh, the design, it grew on me very much so. And uh, it's just overall enjoyable to me. Uh, you know, the lack of Godzilla or any of the complaints that people might have about it, that's fine, that's their opinion. But uh, I appreciate the movie. I really enjoy it. I still love throwing it in and watching it when I have you know, time or anything like that. <clears throat> but uh, also just to add, I waited to watch the English dub of this film when I went until I went to go see my friend Chris. You guys might know him better as GojiFan93. We waited to watch the dub together because by the time this came out, it was only maybe about a little more than a week later, I was going up there to Colorado to go visit him and uh, stay with him for a few days and just hang out. So we were like, why don't we just wait to watch the dub together? We didn't do a review on it or anything like that. We just kind of just wanted, you know, as Godzilla fans, we just wanted to wait and experience the dub, you know, together is just something to do. And we both really enjoyed the dub. Uh, the dub version, sure, it's a little, it might be a little wonky here and there. I want to say where the dub is mainly wonky for me is in the Japanese version that we all saw in theaters with the subtitles. The scenes that had some English in them already, they redubbed those and they felt out of place. And maybe that's because I got comfortable with the Japanese version, you know, seeing it so many times, hearing it in Japanese and hearing those scenes done that way. When they redubbed them, it, it for some reason, it, 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 that's the only thing that bugged me because it didn't sound the same but overall we both enjoyed the dub version uh still enjoyed the japanese version i really can't tell you which one i like better i like them both equally um as far as the physical release itself like case and whatnot uh very nicely done you know a little bit of a raised portrait here of godzilla on the uh, cardboard sleeve uh you know the artwork all the way around front and back and pictures from the film and everything like that very nicely well done I do like it when uh, the discs actually have like an artwork or a picture, you know, printed and slapped on there. I prefer, you know, that over just like a silver disc with the name of the title and whatnot. That that's just uh, that's I, I want to say it's a little nitpick I have with DVDs and Blu-rays is I like it when they actually have something on the disc. It's not just silver with the title and all the other jargon. But um. So, uh, the Blu-ray release of Shin Godzilla, again, short and sweet, but uh, enjoyable, still love it, and uh, yes, awesome movie, and if you haven't picked it up yet, where are you doing? I'm already late to the party with this review. Get out there and get a copy for yourself, if you enjoyed it. I know a lot of people didn't enjoy it. Now, on to my two cents of the Godzilla anime on Netflix. Um, Godzilla Planet of Monsters. Uh, I liked it. Okay, and again, I might be one of the very few out there because I know a lot of people, when it came out, I was just looking at everyone's input on Facebook and all the Godzilla groups and everything like that, and they were like, hated it, didn't really like it, was boring. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought the story and the plot and all that stuff was really cool, you know. Um, I'm trying not to add too many spoilers, but I would assume that everyone has watched it by now. Um, but... I just thought everything was well done, you know, coming back to Earth after so many years, you know. Uh, the only thing I want to say that I didn't like about it, and I, you know, I don't know if I ever said this in a video, but I do not like the design of Godzilla. Um, to me, he just, it's not, it's not because, like, he's fat or whatever. Uh, I was hoping for something, it's different. But it looks too much like Godzilla 2014 to me. Um, it is different, but it's like a silhouette of it and the figure and whatnot. You kind of put those images side by side. 
you can see similarities. Whether that was done on purpose, uh, you know, because Toho's not allowed to put out anything like another Shin Godzilla until the Legendary series is all done, so maybe they, maybe they got the go-ahead to do this anime just because their design was so similar to 2014. I don't know. Um, but I don't like the design of Godzilla in Planet of Monsters. Um, I do really like that one of my uh, favorite kaiju is making a comeback uh, in Planet, Planet of Monsters. Hopefully we see him on the screen. Uh, Degarla, I'm really psyched about Degarla. Uh, he only came out in uh, Mothra 2, uh, Rebirth of Mothra 2, but um, I'm really excited to see him again and in an anime. It's like, that's pretty cool. So, really excited to see Degarla. Um, but yeah, Godzilla's design, I just really wasn't feeling it. The fact that he's kind of part of the planet. He's like a plant, like a giant walking tree or, or Groot or whatever you want to label him as. That's alright, but I still kind of like the radioactive dinosaur or, you know, radioactive abomination you know, the fact that he's kind of a cross between a plant. It reminds me of Biollante, which might be, you know, a little reference there or a throwback. Who knows? But I don't know. I just really wasn't feeling that. And again, just the design overall looked like too much like 2014, which I'm not I'm not a big fan of 2014. Um, but um, anyway, but I am looking forward to see where Legendary goes with Godzilla 2 and uh, Kong versus Godzilla and so on and so forth later on down the road. And then, of course, uh, really looking forward to Shin Godzilla, if they really do make continuation of that from Toho after however many years once Legendary's done. Anyway, though, you guys, that's my quick, uh, you know, two cents on the Blu-ray release of Shin Godzilla and the Godzilla anime on Netflix. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, stay tuned for, you know, we got some figure reviews coming up eventually. Uh, as you well know, if you watched my video before this last one. So, uh, like always, we are God's, Godzilla Fan Freaks. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And, of course, I made that Facebook page. Go on there, give it a like. I've been posting pictures and whatnot pretty much every day. Uh, again, just going to be doing pictures, posting links to my reviews, and, you know, so on and so forth. Putting up some polls, maybe some questions or something, some topics to talk about. And uh, that's about it. So go give uh, Godzilla Fan Freaks a like on Facebook as well. So, hope to see you guys in the next review. Thank you for watching.